Hi everyone, my name is Cecily and welcome to my channel. This reading is for anyone whose sun, moon, or ascendant is in Gemini. So, let's take a look at exactly what you guys have going on for this month. You've got some pretty strong cards. Uh, one, two, three major arcana, but you do have the Ten of Cups. Now, it is in reverse, but let's still take a look. So, the first card that you have is actually the Ten of Cups. This card in your spread actually came out in the reverse, so I'm going to tell you the upright meaning first. Now, the Ten of Cups meaning is about the freedom to express your love, the freedom to choose your love, the freedom to practice your love, and the freedom of it being accepted. Meaning very many times we try to give love and it's pushed away, it's not quite accepted, not all the time, um, but even, I'm not even talking about romantically, I'm talking about the way we choose to love in general as human beings. Sometimes it creates a struggle. Um, so this Ten of Cups talks about who we are in relationship and who we, uh, who we show ourselves to be, and how we accept that love. Can we do it passionately? Can we do it joyfully? Um, is it something that comes to us easily? And the Ten of Cups says that this love came to us easily. This love is freedom. This love is joy. This love is creativity. This love is just endless. Um, just an experience after experience after experience of a beautiful situation after beautiful situation. Um, now, in the reverse, it's saying that there's a test here in that. It's saying that there's a bit of deception, there's a bit of things not going the way you thought um, or the way you planned. There is freedom to express your love, but even with that, there's doubt. Um, and that's really what I would say that the Ten of Cups in reverse talks about is doubt and how we interpret uh, the love that we're giving and receiving. So this card is about this insecurity that's happening in this relationship. Now this relationship should be healthy and growing and spontaneous and uh, flowing really easy. But instead, you know, there are challenges to it and there's this inner conflict that goes on about this relationship. And maybe you're a bit challenged, Gemini, because you're like, why is this so easy? Um, maybe it shouldn't be that easy for you. Maybe you need a bit more mental stimulation. Maybe you're sitting there saying to yourself, okay, I really like this person, but I'm not sure if they know how to go with the flow of things. Maybe they're feeling a little bit too rigid, or maybe they're just a little bit too dark for you. Maybe they're a little bit too emotional for you, and you're not quite sure how to let them into your space. Um, now this is directly connected to the lover's card, which is beautiful. So this card is pretty much trumping everything else in this reading. This card is what's saying, yes, this person is there for you, this person feels for you. Now with the lovers directly next to the Ten of Cups, that's a beautiful thing. Because it's saying, although that there's this internal conflict that's not working, maybe even an external conflict, I would say it's actually both, because this is home and family. Um, it's not security, but it is freedom of love and expression. So this freedom of love and expression is being fought internally. So maybe you're uncomfortable with how easy this is going, or maybe you feel like you're rushing into it and there's a part of you that's scared, so you're backing away and you're running away a little bit, Gemini, because you're like, wow, this is maybe too emotional, too tender, and I'm not quite sure how this is going to work for me. Um, I do see there being some lies, um, a little bit of that. Not necessarily in the deepest, darkest way. I don't think it's a deception of the, um, of the worst kind. I think it's more a matter of the two of you not knowing how to express yourselves and not knowing who you want to be in the relationship because 
Down here you have the King of Cups and you have the King of Wands in reverse. So both of these are two really powerful, and I'm just going to use men for the sake of saying men, um, but two powerful people um, that are in relationship to each other. Now one is in the right and one is in the wrong, but they're trying to go about getting commitment in the wrong way, and the other person is trying to go about breaking up in the wrong way. So the two of you are kind of stuck in this standstill of this really passionate, intimate relationship that's happening because this lover's card is here, because it's giving you this chance, because it's offering you, saying, wow, you have this opportunity to make it work with this person. But this person is not doing things according to plan. Um, this person has more self-interest at heart in terms of making this commitment work, forcing it to work, um, <clears throat> and the other person is more in a place of not really ready to let go. So death is here, and this is the foundation card, but it's death in the reverse position, which means this is somebody that's coming back or somebody that's that came back to you um, and that you guys might have been in this off and on relationship over and over and over again and now you're kind of still at that point things haven't come to a place where you're hundred percent ready to give up it's still very emotional for you you still feel like you're doing the right thing by re-entering this relationship but at the same time they're going to push you into doing something it's not going to be something that they just let go of with death in reverse it's all about retracing your steps. It's like when Venus or Mercury goes into retrograde. It's one of those moments where you don't want to start anything new. You don't want to open yourself up to somebody new. You're very kind of closed off and trying to basically get the people that are on your list off your list in terms of romance. Because Gemini, you have a lot of options as well in terms of commitment and that might be a problem for you. It also might be a problem for them and why they're trying to force you into commitment because here is the commitment card which is the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is beautiful. So basically your mind is here. Your mind is saying it's time to commit. It's time to start something. We're ready to move in together. We're ready to try something new. We're ready to open ourselves up together. Um, but they're doing it in such a pushy and malicious way that you're like, no, I'm I'm not really interested in that. I'm going to hang back and see how you actually treat me first. And then when I'm ready, we're going to make something that's that big of a decision happen. But it's not going to be right now. So there's this internal fight, and you're trying to figure out who you two are to each other. There's lots of love here. There's lots of um, creativity, and there's lots of passion in this relationship. So it's not something that you're going to give up. And like I said, with the Ten of Cups, whether it's in reverse or not, the Lovers and the Four of Wands directly next to each other, those are some of the most powerful cards that you can have in the deck in a love reading. They're very much talking about how a relationship comes together. You start at the Lovers, you start at the place of attraction, you start at the place of you know, formulating this deep connection, something opens up for the two of you and you realize that you belong to each other. And then the Four of Wands talks about making that belief of you belonging to each other real, making it into more than just... making it into more than just um, an idea or a premise that's shared between the two of you, but something that is known, something that's out there and created for the world to see. And this is the expression of the world seeing it, experiencing that joy. Whether it's you having a family, whether it's you buying a house together, whether it's you doing um, something small or big, it very much is about the expression of this love coming out. Now this is first. This is the first card in the deck, so with when you have the ten of cups upside down all of that love all of that emotion is spilling out so right now you're losing a lot of the potential that you have in this relationship because you're unclear about the direction that you're trying to go in the future this is your future card this is the position this is you trying to figure out what's underneath this person what is this king of wands really want what are they really doing for me what are they really trying to create with me are they really trying to love me embrace me 
uh, treat me well, open things up for me, or, you know, there might be a lot of things that they have to say to you. They might start a lot of fights with you. They might, you know, create situations that are filled with basically nonsense for no reason because they're in a negative position themselves. Um, that's what a fire sign does when they're in the midst of being unhappy. Now, they don't have to necessarily be a fire sign with the king of wands. Um, they could actually just be somebody that is extremely passionate about you. The um, wand signs, the wands cards, excuse me, are all about how we carry things on, how we do things. Um, it's very much a doing suit. It's about showing and expressing your love from a point of action. So if you have somebody that is an air sign, um, the way they're expressing their love is they're going to talk about it. They're going to communicate it. They're going to open their mouth and they're going to say it. If you have a water sign, they're going to feel it. They're going to make sure you feel it. They're going to touch you. They're going to do things for you um, that are very soft and gentle and a very nurturing sort of love. A very nurturing sort of wave is going to be rushing over you in terms of the way they love you. When you have an earth sign, it's going to be very practical. Um, what can they provide for you? And this fire sign is trying to do things for you. And he's probably trying to do things in the wrong way. You guys actually might even be at a point in the relationship where you're getting married, where you are engaged, where you are moving in together, but you have a really unhappy beginning of the month because you're moving in together or you're committing to each other on some level. But for whatever reason, there's this conflict around this commitment. The two of you aren't seeing eye to eye about what it's supposed to look like. Um, it could be a wedding, like I said, it could be moving in together, but the two of you feel like there's some sort of deception or there's some sort of something that's happening between the two of you, and it's coming from this person, it's coming from this knight of wands. They're not living up to their word, they're not doing something that they were supposed to do. It's causing fights in February. Um, once you get to the beginning, sort of middle month, I want to say somewhere between 10th to the 14th, um, there's going to be a point where you're considering leaving, where you're considering, you know, not talking to this person. Um, it might be directly after you move in together or directly after you start this commitment of some sort. Um, something might click inside of you where you have this internal conflict and you have to kind of get over it as the month goes on and you realize that this person while they are wonderful um, there are things that you're not quite sure how to interpret their actions or how to interpret what they said or did and it hurt your feelings on a certain level but overall you turn to be you turn out to be really mature about it Gemini um, I'm interpreting you as the King of Cups, and I think um, you also receive the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So that's letting me know a couple of things. It's letting me know that one, Gemini, you have options in your life, or this person has options in their life that they're not being honest with you about, and just as you're getting ready to commit, there are, you know, some things that come up that create that that create a kind of negative um, feeling to the relationship, or these are two very opinionated people in terms of what your relationship has to offer. Now, <clears throat> I feel like for this month there there's a part of you that's growing up in this relationship, meaning you're at the point where you're realizing what its full potential is and even though it's beautiful there are things that you're gonna have to figure out with this moon and this Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles is basically saying that there is going to be a real importance to you doing that um, these are two people that are going to be watching that are going to be opinionated they're not going to say much they're not even going to do much um, they're just going to kind of reflect on all of those things so Gemini male or female, if you have um, more than one person in your life, you have multiple partners in your life, 
uh, they will keep coming back into your life, but there is going to be an internal conflict about which partner you keep, who is important to you, who you're committed to, versus who do you have on the side. You know, do you have, do you have a side chick? Do you have a partner? You know, or somebody that isn't quite fitting into your life the way you were hoping that they would, and you're trying to carry this off, or is that what your partner is doing? Um, <clears throat> Now, I don't see any, like, real betrayal. I just see somebody that wants what they want and is acting from a place of, how can I get it? And there's confusion around the fact that, you know, maybe they're being a little bit too assertive or a little bit too aggressive for your taste. And you going from a place of practicality to a place of emotion. So you're going to have to try to use your intuition in terms of, what this this relationship is going to have to offer you um, or going to offer you this internal conflict that's going to be happening is really important for you to resolve because you don't want to lose this ten of cups um, you don't want to chase after fool's gold in a sense and it seems like there's a lot of that in this reading there's a lot of chasing um, something that isn't quite panning out or isn't quite turn, coming to fruition. So I would be very gentle with that uh, Gemini, very gentle with the idea of what can come to fruition and what am I really committed to and what's important to me. Um, and reassess your partner as well. You know, see what, see what they're really offering because this isn't always about you, it's about the two of you. It's about how you interact and how you deal with each other. So keep that in mind and I love you guys. That was your reading for the month. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I love, love, love your likes, comments, and subscribes.